that I'm teaching called Introduction to Computer Science 1. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to do Lab 1 on a Linux computer. So I am using Ubuntu and uh, we'll demonstrate how to, uh, to do this lab using Ubuntu. As you can see here I've uh, linked to the or browse to the um, web page that describes Lab 1 and uh, essentially what you need to do there is exercises uh, P11 and P12 so the first thing I'm going to do is open up a, a terminal window and I don't need this actually this is part of the lab if you have um, uh, if you have a if you're working on a on your own uh, installation of Linux then you may need you'll probably need to install subversion this is the command apt-get install subversion that I need to run in uh, Ubuntu and depending on your distribution that you're using uh, that that will work for you or perhaps a different command that uh, is what you need for that so I was um, I am operating under the root account now you can see that because of this uh, sharp sign here so I'm going to exit that and now I'm in my home folder these are the contents of my home folder this is the location of my home folder. I'm going to create a new folder called CSC201. I'm going to uh, move into that and then I'll create uh, a folder under there, P1 underscore 1. So for each problem that you solve in this class you will create a folder uh, with the name of the problem under the parent folder CSE201 and so we're going to solve two problems the first one is P1.1 and notice I'm using an underscore there it's not you not 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 required to use an underscore but that is the pattern that I'm asking students to use when they name their folders and uh, the other folder will be P1 underscore 2 you can see we have two folders from the CD and two uh, to P1 underscore 1. There's nothing in there. PWD, Print Working Directory, it shows that my location is where I want to be. Okay, so I, use, I normally work in VI, but to make things simpler for you, I'm going to use the text editor that's uh, built into this uh, into Ubuntu. So I'm going to go up to Accessories and select uh, Leafpad. Alright, so let's go ahead and create a file. It'll look something like this. Include IO Stream and uh, let's see, using namespace std int main int argc char pointer args and that's a vector I mean a, an array opening and closing braces okay and then we'll type something in here so this is the um, the contents of uh, contents of main Let me go ahead and save that and uh, give it the name main.cpp and uh, I'm going to browse to find where I want to put that. That's in CSE 201 P11. There it is. And uh, this is the first time I've used this program actually. So I think that um, maybe I need to scroll down here. Oops. I don't think I have enough room on my screen. So what I'll just do is hit enter on there. 
Let me just check to see if that's there. So I do ls in that folder. There it is. That's main. And I could actually use vi to check that, <coughs> which is the program I normally use. Looks good. Here's the contents of main. What we're going to do there is just type in the command c out hi, just to see if things are working. Save that. Now let's see if we can build that. C++ main.cpp. <coughs> it looks good. <coughs> that generates a.out. Let's run that. S a dot slash a dot out. There it is. Hi. That seems to run. Okay. Good. Now, the next step is to add this um, add this work to commit this work into the repository. So we don't need a dot out in the repository. So please remember to delete that first. Let's re remove a dot out. And yeah, now it's gone the CD up to this level and this folder here CSE 201 this will be the root folder of your repository and now the first time that uh, you do this you need to uh, you need to check out your repository for the first time so that command is going to look like this it'll be SVN checkout and by the way you could you should first check to see if SVN is installed and it is doesn't say command not known uh, so I added some notes just to let you know that uh, there are indeed some notes here on how to get this so if I go to the home page for the course under uh, this link here CSE 201 Linux notes just some um, some notes on what you need. So subversion is one of the things you need. I will um, add some additional notes on how to obtain uh, some other files that you need as well. So that's there. All right, let's go back to uh, to the terminal window and um, let's check out the. <coughs> I'm going to check out my repository. This is a repository I created for myself. So it's SVN CO for checkout. I'm going to go back to the, the to the website and uh, go into Lab One and get the URL for the um, for my repository. And uh, let's see there. I'm going to go back to the terminal window. And this is what it looks like. But I need to replace this string, your SVN username, with my username. So my username is David Turner underscore Linux. And uh, your username will be different. I will tell you what your username is, and I will also tell you your password. And I'm going to check that out. I'm going to follow that with a dot here. And it's the interaction with the repository is done over a secure channel. And so the first time we connect, uh, there is a some kind of an initialization process here where the uh, we don't have the public key that's uh, that's used by the server to establish secure connections so uh, the first time we connect to the server we need to accept the the public key that is provided to it so I say um, accept permanently there we go so if I look here there it is